Today I will be comparing the best of what Apple has to offer in a laptop with their MacBook Pro 16 inch versus Dell's response with their complete redesign of the XPS 16 lineup, starting with the 9500. Let's find out which one is the better package. So with the configurations that I have in front of me, with the XPS 15, I have the i5 10300H, 16 gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigabytes of storage. With the 16 inch MacBook Pro, I have the i7 9750H with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I also have the AMD Radeon Pro 5300M with 500 gigabytes of storage. So one of the major advantages of going with the XPS over the MacBook Pro is that you can upgrade the RAM and the storage after your purchase. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, you need to know how much RAM and storage you're gonna get for basically the duration of the laptop. So if you want to upgrade in the future, go with the XPS 15. With that being said, let's move on over to the ports. So on the XPS 15, we have two Thunderbolt 3 ports on one side. And on the other side, we also have a Thunderbolt port, SD card slot, and a headphone jack. The nice thing that Dell does with the new XPS is they actually give you a dongle adapter, which comes with a USB 3.1 as well as a HDMI. Moving on over to the MacBook Pro with its simplicity, we have four Thunderbolt 3 ports, two on each side, one containing the headphone jack as well. The issue with the MacBook Pro is they don't give you a dongle like Dell does. So in terms of value of what you get inside the box, I would say Dell definitely wins in this category as well. So now I wanna talk about build quality on both these machines. And I wanna start with the exterior. I have a D-brand skin on the 16 inch, that's why it looks like this. But they both have an aluminum finish on the outside and they feel exceptional. I think most people will definitely feel some type of premium touch when they hold it in their hands. So I actually prefer the outside of the XPS because it's more of a slant design. It's more unique. And overall, I just think that it looks much cleaner than the MacBook Pro. And you know, Apple's been using this design for many, many years. It's the unibody design. You know, it's not like anyone's really complaining about it. I mean, there might be some people, but it just seems that with this design, it's timeless. And you know, there, you can't go wrong with the unibody design. The Apple has created, but personally, I would choose the Dell XPS 15. Now I wanna talk about the displays on both these laptops. So on this machine, the XPS, I don't know why I said this machine. On the XPS, I have the full HD plus, and then on the MacBook Pro, we have the beautiful high res version. I think it's like 3000 by 1920. Um, you can get the XPS 15 optioned up with the 4K model, that's a lot of money, so that's why I don't have it. So I prefer the display on the XPS 15 just because it has that anti-glare coating on it, and it's almost like a matte finish, whereas on the MacBook Pro, it's a glossy finish, and fingerprints do get left on this display. Now I wanna move over to the interiors of both these computers, and this is where it gets a little bit... <sighs> I'll talk about it. First, I wanna talk about the keyboards. They're both exceptional. I enjoy typing on both these keyboards. Um, I will say that the XPS feels a little bit more muted, reserved, quiet. That's like the only way I can describe it. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, it definitely feels a little bit more clicky. And I wanna say slightly more satisfying, but like I always say in my reviews, keyboards are subjective. So at the time of me recording this video, I have the issue where I have a click even though I'm not actually tapping down on the XPS. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, we have the Magic Trackpad. Doesn't physically move, it's all haptic feedback. It's the cream of the crop of trackpads. And just in comparison to the XPS, it feels lackluster and cheap on the XPS 15. And unfortunately, despite the massive trackpad that's almost the same size as the 16 inch MacBook Pro, it's just that issue that I'm having that I can't give it over to the XPS 15. So in terms of trackpad and keyboard, I'm gonna give it over to the MacBook Pro 16 inch. So with both unlocking features, we have Windows Hello facial recognition on the XPS 15, as well as the fingerprint reader. So you can have either choice of what biometric you wanna use. Whereas on the MacBook Pro, we just have the Touch ID, unfortunately. Wish Face ID would come to the MacBook Pros. It would definitely make using the laptop a lot easier, but you know, it's just unlocking your laptop. So unlocking features, I would give it over to the XPS 15. 
Next, I'm gonna show you guys a camera and microphone test, and you guys can tell me which one sounds better down in the comments below. All right, so this is me talking to the MacBook Pro 16 inch. You guys can tell me how it sounds. I'm in average lighting right now, so I'm gonna open up my curtains and you guys can see how the camera quality increases. Definitely looks a lot better with some nice lighting. So let's switch over to the XPS 15 now. So this is me talking to the XPS 15. As you can see, the camera quality, I would say already is not as good as the 16 inch, but this is average light. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my curtains now. Um, I would say the camera quality has improved slightly a little bit. I'm not sure what this red hue is going on right now. So now I'm going to show you guys a clip of the speakers and you can tell me which one sounds better. Personally, I think the MacBook Pro sounds more richer. It seems to have more clarity of the tones it wants to produce. And the XPS 15 has really good speakers, but I would say in comparison to the 16 inch, the 16 inch is just better. So take a listen. <laughs> So battery life, I would say it really depends on your usage, but when using both these laptops, I found myself having more battery life left on the XPS 15. But if you do push these machines to, you know, their limit using it, what they're used for, I got about six to seven hours with them. So I know you guys are probably also thinking about fan noise and most of the time for me using these machines, I didn't hear too much fan noise. However, when I did push these laptops to their limits, I got a lot of noise and you know, there are powerful machines with powerful CPUs in them. So I'll let you guys have a listen of the fan noise when they're maxed out. So what do I recommend for people? So I would say the value is definitely over to the XPS 15. You just have more options of what you can choose from. You also have the ability to upgrade your computer in the future. Something I also forgot to mention was the networking card. So there's Wi-Fi 6 in the XPS 15 and then there's Wi-Fi 5 on the MacBook Pro. However, I found my networking to be better on the MacBook Pro just because I guess of the Wi-Fi card that Apple is using. It's using a killer Wi-Fi card on the XPS 15, and I have problems initially connecting, but besides that, value for your money, 100% goes over to the XPS 15. If your workflow requires macOS and you're doing a lot of intensive stuff and you want it to be portable, then that's when you start to consider the MacBook Pro 16 inch. But if you don't depend on macOS and you don't really care for it, then for sure the XPS 15 is the better buy you can start from like $1,000 all the way up to like $3,000. So it really just comes down to what do you want? Mac OS, Windows, do you like your money? So I would start from there. If you need Mac OS, look only at the MacBook Pro. Value for your money, get the XPS 15. If you're wondering what to listen to on the go, check out Audible. Audible is a free app that offers thousands of titles and each month you get a free audiobook to choose from. Audible also has podcasts, guided wellness programs, comedy, and original content. If you don't know what to listen to, check out my Amazon store and look at my Audible library in the description. I've been an Audible subscriber since 2017, and I find myself listening to books a great way to educate myself, whether it's in the shower, cooking, exercising, driving to work, or just chilling in my bed. Sign up today using my link and get a free month and book. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Please make sure to leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe if you wanna see more content, and as always, guys, much love.